Hey guys, this is a little different than um, my normal little topic videos because I actually, I have a question for you guys. I honestly do because this is something I get asked without a doubt in every Q&A I ever do, every live stream, every time just randomly out of nowhere people ask me these questions and I always end up giving the same answers and I want to know, why is it that artists are so scared of practice. I sound like a broken record, I feel like, at this point, where it doesn't irritate me. It, it used to irritate me a little bit, but now it doesn't irritate me at all. It just confuses me. I will get people being like, oh, how do you draw hands? I say, look up references of hands. How do you draw poses? Look up references of poses. How do you draw props? Look up references about props and study and reference and there is now with the whole practicing thing there is a whole thing where you need to learn the right way to practice over the wrong way and I honestly think the only right way to practice is to reference from life I don't think that you need a mastery of drawing something hyper realistic to be able to draw something cartoony or anime or anything really um unless you obviously want to be a realism artist or a painter or something then that would make sense but i get these questions all the time and i always give the same answers and people it seems to come off as people think i'm lying um and that's what kind of bothers me because some people are like it can't be that easy and i'm like it is you just have to practice if you granted yes if you draw the wrong way and you keep drawing the wrong way and you don't deviate from drawing the wrong way you're not going to improve something i i've talked about before is how i i was scared of drawing there's no other way to really say it because i only ever drew busts for like the longest time and it's such a bad default i still default to it to this day in my sketchbooks when i can't think of anything to draw i'll be like fuck it i'll draw a bust you know, or I'll draw still life. I'll, I'll, it's always a bust. And it's because back in the day, I was scared of having my art look shitty. Your art's going to look shitty. There's, n there's, again, there's no way around it. You're not going to wake up one day and suddenly be an amazing artist. You're not going to wake up one day and suddenly be an amazing writer. You just, that's not how it works. It's not how it works with anything. Everything comes with practice. A good example I like using is, Remember when you start writing, like you start learning how to write and you know, you're a little kid, you're in like kindergarten, first grade or primary school, whatever it's called in other countries. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I can write. I'm super proud of myself. And then you look back on it 20 years later and you're like, oh, that's, that's uggo. Ooh, what the hell? Ooh, ooh, what was I thinking? It's the same thing with art. You look back at your older art and if you don't deviate from the path and you stick to drawing just one thing, you're going to get really good at drawing just that one thing, but you're not going to get good at drawing anything else. And that's when stagnation comes in. And that's when I feel like a lot of people start to get, it's not burnout. It's not art block, but you start to feel unhappy with your work. You start to feel like, oh, it, it, it doesn't look right. Why doesn't it look right? And you're not giving yourself a chance to break the mold. You're not giving yourself a chance to try something new. You never know how well something will be until you practice. A good example is the video I'm using here, as long as the file didn't get corrupted. It was a watercolor painting. I've wanted to learn watercolors for so long. And every time I tried watercoloring, every single time, it looked disgusting and I hated it and I never touched watercolors for like months to a year. I would waste so much money on asking for gifts or saving up to buy myself watercolors and I would never use it. And it wasn't until this past year that I fully sat down and I started practicing with it. Practicing and practicing. Learning how to do layers properly. Learning how to properly, um, you know, have your water to paint, uh, your water to pigment ratio you know, and these are with cakes, not with like liquid watercolors. I haven't even touched liquid watercolors and I'm a little worried about that. I've only ever painted with inks before. And 
it's really fun and it's really zen and I'm kicking myself because I'm like, you know, if I had done this a long time ago, I probably would have saved myself a lot of money now and a lot of time now because I would have been practicing when my art is still growing. Now my art is still growing to this day, but it's growing in different ways. Uh, again, I probably sound like a broken record, but I have to thank my patrons for this because they support me to be able to get out of my comfort zone. They help me, you know, pay my bills so I can test the waters. I can push my ability. I can work on drawing backgrounds. I can work on practicing traditional stuff. I can... I can do, you know, um, pixel sprites. I can do prop work. I can do a lot of things that I before couldn't do because this was my job. And I put myself in this rut. And I think back to when if I was younger, back when I didn't have to worry about this stuff, back when I was still living under my parents' roof, back when I was young, back when I was learning art and like learning like from my art classes from high school, my art school, my art school, I didn't go to art school. Huh, great Michelle, already all over the place. But my art classes didn't even have watercolors available. They would just teach us acrylic and colored pencil and that was it. And it was even good colored pencil. Like I didn't even learn about smudging and um, layering with colored pencil until literally a couple years ago. You know, shows how good the education system is. But I kick myself because I had watercolors back then. Yeah, they weren't that good. But I could have been learning techniques. A really good friend and a really big inspiration of mine is my friend Kaylee Bezzy K here on YouTube. She does beautiful watercolor paintings. And she uses anything from like 99 cent store uh, watercolor paint tins to P.H. Martin watercolors in like all of her paintings. She mixes like a thousand paints in her videos. I love them. And I sit back and I'm like, shit, say she was practicing when she could have. I should have been practicing. Why was I so scared? And that's because I didn't want to make something shitty. And I feel like that's what a lot of people want is they, they want to make amazing art they can be proud of. You can be proud of art if you just look back at what you made a year ago, two years ago. Sometimes for some people, it's even months ago. It could be even a week ago. You're better today than you were yesterday. And that's because of practice practice, study, learning. Uh, being an artist isn't like most things, but in a way it also is. Think of when you first started learning how to drive. You were probably really nervous and scared and yeah, yeah. But then if you've been driving for 10 to 15 years, it becomes second nature to you. And it's the same thing as art. And it's the same thing as life. And I just feel like that's something that people need to do. Um, even if it looks bad, trust me, I look back at some of my first studies and they look, oh, oh, I'm happy I did them because now I can tell when something looks off. I can tell when something looks wonky. I feel like my poses aren't as stiff as they used to be. You know, uh, I'm learning how to watercolor. I'm learning how to layer properly. I'm learning how to not rely so much on digital art like I do. And that's because of practice. And so next time you want to ask an artist how they do something. And it sounds like, how do you, how do you draw poses? How do you draw hands? How do you do backgrounds? How do you do this? How do you do that? There's no easy answer besides practice. And with that, I'm going to leave it here. And I hope you guys enjoyed my little weird question, wondering thing. Am I the only other one? Who was wondering about this and this rambles? Uh, if so, let me know. I'd love to know. And as always, guys, I will. See you next time. Bye.